Hey everyone, Christine Altos here and today is December the 12th and I have quite a bit to talk to you about today. Um, I'm in my Jeep again waiting for my kids. They're at guitar lessons so I thought this was a great opportunity to take the time and do my video as this time of year has just been so crazy <laughs> to find the extra time. I've been making notes the last couple of days um, with good intentions to do this video before today but it's just been kind of busy and time kind of slips away. You ever notice that? Yeah, wonder where the days go, where the time goes. <laughs> well, it definitely goes way too fast. So we need to make sure that we, you know, make every day the best day as possible. I'm going to, um, there's quite a few things I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to start off by reading um, from December um, 9th, actually. And it has to do with leading. And I really liked what he said here because it's so true. Um, when it comes to leadership and leading other people. And it says here, If I can't lead myself, others won't follow me. If I can't lead myself, others won't respect me. If I can't lead myself, others won't partner with me. That really hit home to me because it really shows that if you're not working on your inside, if you're not working on becoming a better person, then other people are not going to uh, follow you because they don't see leadership in you. And that's something I'm working on so much because I really truly want to be the leader that people are looking for and that I can you know, teach them the qualities that it takes to become a leader as well. I work under a mentor and I completely admire what he does and um, there's a few she's in there as well <laughs> that um, I follow leadership under. Um, and I truly love what they stand for, and I'm applying it to my life as well. Um, because when you have communication, um, it is such a key ingredient to your success. And to, to have correct communication, you have to be candid. You have to be very truthful. You have to be true to yourself. You have to be true to who you are. And therefore, by doing that, people are going to see that you're an honest person, they can trust you. And when you have to deal with something, you're gonna deal with it within 24 hours. People are gonna see that you communicate quickly with them. If there's something to deal with, you do it within the first 24 hours because after that, that's when things start to fester. That's when people's brains start thinking. You ever think a lot <laughs> when something happens and the more it goes on, the more you think about it and it really just kind of blows up into something that it really shouldn't be so you need to deal with it within uh, 24 hours and you know don't hold back information um, you have to let people know what they need to know now there are some sensitive things that has to do with you know business that you know what if it's not going to affect them then you don't need to share it with them I've always heard you know good news goes down in your organization bad news goes up <laughs> and always remember that no matter what it is you do in life good news goes down and bad news goes up the people that you look that you work with um, and mentor under that's where the bad news goes good news goes with the people you work with and are teaching and um, unless there's always there's always that um, one person maybe two people that are really up on things even though they may be new in what it is you're doing with them but they're really up on everything that's going on so there are going to be a few people that you need to keep in the loop with things that do go on in in organizations businesses all that kind of stuff because that's just who they are they might be new with you but they're pretty smart they're pretty up there and they're they have the leadership you're looking for so don't forget to uh, you know communicate more with them as well because they just they're the type that really need to know information um, when it comes to working with a team, you really want to work on encouraging people and giving them, you know, those encouraging words that are going to help them get by those days where adversity is just pounding on their door. And when you see them do something great, then you know what? You need to acknowledge it right away, right in that moment, right when the sweat is on the brow. You need to, you know, let them know that they did a good job, that what you just did really helped us, you know. Um, let's keep up, keep that up. You know, how did you do that? Can you teach me, you know, really encourage people and do it right then and there when it happens, just so, you know, it's fresh in their mind and they're going to always, you know, want to continue doing that. Um, think back as a child when you did something and your, your parent or grandparent or, 
um, your caregiver or your teacher, whoever it was, when you were a child, when you did something great and you got rewarded for it right away, how did that make you feel? It made you feel like, I want to do that again, <laughs> right? So let's continue doing it. I think we forget to be kids. We get all grown up and we think, yeah, we're all grown up now and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? We really need to think back as to when we were children and how, you know, we thought then and how we worked for it, um, you know, to, um, <laughs> I'm just getting all excited here. I'm losing my words. <laughs> you just, you know what? Think sometimes as a child and how you really want to just do your best job because you know that there's going to be a reward in the end. That's basically what I was trying to say. Okay. Um, and here's another one. What I started off with, um, you know, if I can't leave, that's really, you know what? That's really managing your personal life. If you can manage your personal life, then everything else just falls in place. If you're having problems at home, if you're having problems with a spouse, children, everything, it all stems back to your your personal life. If you can manage your personal life and be happy in your personal life, you know what? Everything else is just going to fall in place. So if there's an area you need to work on, that is the very first area you need to work on because you know what? That is the most important area you need to work on. Because without that, what do you have? There's so many people that lose what matters to them most because they focus first on um, their not their personal life, but their professional life. And you know what? Really, life is about your your personal life. And when you get that under control, your professional life will be very easy because you've just you've nailed your personal life, right? You want to work towards pleasing. And having your, you know, your spouse and your, your kids and your siblings, your family honoring you first before anything else. You know, really, um, you know, when your day comes, you know, you want them to remember how great of a person you are, not how great of a professional person you are. Okay, so we need to conquer our personal life first. And once you do that, your professional life will be... Uh, a lot better, and I know that personally. You know, I I I made the mistake years ago to put my professional um, life first, and it really, you know what? It turned my personal life upside down, and it's totally not worth it. It wasn't until I realized, you know what? I need to do something different here. And when I did, what a difference it has made in my life. So personal life first, first and foremost. And when you do that, that shows determination to succeed. And when, you, when you're when you determined to succeed, you're going to do all these things that need to be done. Because in the end, it's about helping other people. When you help yourself first, and I mean that's in personal growth. I don't mean financially. When you help yourself first, you're going to succeed. And you're really going to show that determination to succeed. I mean, don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Because you're totally worth it. Every single person is worth every ounce of sweat on the brow, <laughs> right? It's so worth it. And, you know, when adversity sets in, you need to talk to somebody. Talk to that person that, you know, you're mentoring under. Talk to your spouse. Talk to somebody that's close to you. And really dig deep to see what needs to be improved so that, you know, you can get through that. And, um, you know, a lot of that... <laughs> Today's message was about courage and fighting it on the inside first. I, when I read this today, it really hit home to me today because I homeschool my children. So that is a very challenging and um, very emotionally stressful sometimes. Um, and a lot of people are the, under the misunderstanding that homeschool, you must have a lot of patience. You know what? I don't. <laughs> and I think that is where I need to build my courage in myself is knowing that I have to work on my inside first. I have to work on how to deal with those patients, how to bring it out on me first so that it comes out on my outside and it also gets spilled out into my children. Because right now when I lose my patients, that spills out into my children and I'm not doing anything good for them by doing that. So we really need to work on our inside first because that is true courage. That's really digging deep and saying, who am I? You know, what do I need to improve? Dig in that courage because our whole life we're going to be challenged with adversity. And if you can dig deep and know that you can get through it no matter what, whatever hits you, you can get through it. 
That's called courage from the inside. You need to deal with that. Okay? I know today's video is a little long. I really hope this turned out good. Sometimes with my phone, it kind of does a delay. But you know what? I had the time right now. Really had to get this out to you guys. I really hope that these videos are helping you. I would love to hear from you. Make a comment. Send me a message. Check out my blog. It's christinealtos.wordpress.com. Check out my blog. Other videos are there. I'm on Facebook as well. So please, 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 whatever you do, start working on yourself. Find that mentor and start working on yourself. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.